Nagoya, Japan was the site of Dream 16, which took place late Friday night. The event was a real tribute to mixed martial arts professional wrestling roots with a dazzling display of entertainment and ability. In the main event, Gegard Musashi faced Japanese fighter Tetsuya Mizuno for the Dream Life Heavyweight Grand Prix Championship. The Japanese fighter threatened with an armbar from the bottom, but the Dream Catcher escaped with little effort. With less than four minutes remaining in the round, Musashi locked in a rear naked choke and forced Mizuno to tap out. In the co-main event, living legend Kazushi Sakuraba tangled with bully beatdown host Jason Miller, who has obviously been influenced by his opponent. At the eight-minute mark, Miller trapped the submission fighter in an arm triangle, and he was forced to submit to the younger man. Might get it, indeed. He's got a shoulder down. Can my hands drop? He's done. He's done. He's done. My hands drop. Sakuraba. Ah. Ah. Mayhem gets the submission victory, looks incredible in doing so, and puts the middleweight division on notice. In a non-title matchup, lightweight champion Shinya Aoki challenged Team Nogera member Marcus Aurelio. The second round looked similar to the first, with the Japanese start getting the takedown and asserting his dominance from the top on the overwhelmed Maximus. Aoki proved that he is still one of the best in the world with a masterful performance over a durable and skilled Marcus Aurelio, winning by decision. In an openweight bout, Japanese sensation Minowa Man was matched up against the 2008 Olympic judo gold medalist Satoshi Ishii. Ishii would use his size and grappling prowess to get the fight to the ground and control from the top, not allowing Minowa to move or escape. Ishii took home the decision victory and gets hardcore mixed martial arts fans excited about his promise. In an exciting featherweight encounter, Hiroyuki Takaya squared off against former WEC featherweight King Chase Beebe. After a short feeling out process, the Japanese fighter landed a crushing left hook to the chin of Beebe that sent him crashing to the canvas. The street fight Bancho followed it up with ground and pound until the referee was forced to stop the punishment. In another interesting 145 pound matchup, Judica Michihiro Omigawa met WEC veteran Cole Escovedo. Escovedo left his arm out and Omigawa Gawa attacked, locking in an armbar that was too painful for Escovedo, forcing him to submit. Joachim Hellboy Hansen locked horns with Japanese submission fighter Hideo Tokoro at 145 pounds. Hansen secured a top side triangle and administered serious ground and pound before rolling into the full triangle. Tokoro tried his best to escape, but Hansen was too skilled and finished the submission, tapping Tokoro out at the 2 minute and 48 second mark of round one. Oh, it's good night, Irene! It's good night, Irene! Kazuyuki Miyata spoiled the dream debut of shooter star Takeshi Lion in a way. In the end, it would be the wrestling abilities of Miyata that would earn him the decision win over an entertaining in a way. Mitsuhiro Ishida took home a split decision victory when he faced Akio Wiki Nishiura, and the Colossus James Thompson dropped his third straight fight, losing a split decision to Japanese fighter Yusuke Kawaguchi.